In this doubles lesson, we're going to go over putting away volleys at the net. And this is something that I've talked about a lot recently on the podcast and I've written about in the newsletter. Uh, and I wanted to show you some points with some uh, actual video footage of uh, what I mean when I say you should hit the majority of your volleys across your body. So we're going to go through some examples here uh, from the WTA this year. So this first one. Uh, is Nicole Melikar Martinez and Ellen Perez. And you can see Ellen Perez tries to hit this backhand, high backhand volley inside out. So let's watch that again. So this is something, there's a few things we're taught a lot at the club level. Um, one is if you're the net player, hit it at the other net player. And another one is um, to hit between the opponents. Uh, and I can't quite tell which one she's trying to do here, but um, she's definitely going obviously to her right, which is she's a left-handed player. So that's an inside out backhand volley. So this is, especially at the club level, one of the most difficult volleys uh, to hit. It's a little bit easier to hit an inside out forehand volley. Um, so what I want to encourage you to do is start taking backhand volleys like this. And if you're right-handed, this would mean you're in the deuce court. Uh, just take them across your body back behind the returner. So let's look at an example of that here. So you've got uh, Kudermatova serving and uh, Zheng Shui at the net. And um, she's not taking this behind the returner because she's in the I formation, uh, but she's going to take it cross court past the returner's partner. Um, so let me play that for you again. You can see it's a very simple, it's a similar spot to Perez, so it's a high backhand volley. And instead of trying to take it through the middle of the court um, or take it over here inside out, she just catches it out in front and the returner's partner just has no time at all to react to that. So that's what I want you to do on the majority of these, especially the ones that are kind of in uh, to your body a little bit more when they're more of a stretch, it's a little bit more difficult to hit them across your body. Um, and sometimes in that case, you have to go inside out. Here's another one. This is a forehand for Ellen and she misses it. I hate to pick on Ellen because she's uh, <laughs> such a great player, but I just found a few examples of her here. Um, so you can see she misses that long trying to go inside out instead of, um, I'd like to see here just go short kind of drop angle. Siniakova is moving to her right. Um, there's no way she can recover uh, and get to this. Um, and if she catches this out in front, she's less likely to miss it into the net. Um, but you can see she kind of lays her wrist back and sails it long. So here's another one with uh, Julie Shu, who's another left-handed player. And you can see this one, again, it's kind of into her body, so she's leaning to her right. Um, so she just catches it out in front really simple. Um, you can see how close she is to the net and just puts that ball away. And one thing that a lot of people worry about with these sorts of volleys is they worry that they're going to miss it wide. Uh, and what I've found, I've started to use these a lot more uh, over the last two or three years. And what I've found is it's actually very difficult to miss this wide. Um, you'll have a lot that land. Um, let's get rid of that. You'll have a lot that land somewhere in here, like in the devil's alley. Um, so uh, definitely this is a great um, volley to practice. You can see here, it's a lot of serve plus one volleys. So this one's a little bit different. This is um, a return plus one volley where Julie Shu has a more defensive volley. She's uh, halfway between the net and the service line. This ball is kind of dropping. It might be a little below the net and she tries to force this between the opponents. And really what she should be doing, since Veronica Kudermatova on the other side of the net is starting to shift this way, you can see her already moving that way. She should just take this right back to where it came from because it's more of a defensive volley, reset the point, give her another backhand. Um, and at that point she can close forward a little bit more, but instead she misses this one long. Look at a few more here that are good. This is great for serve plus one. And I want you to notice um, most of these returns are coming through 
um, what Craig O'Shaughnessy calls the center window area, so through the middle of the court. As the server's partner, especially on first serves, you want to really be controlling as much of this area as possible. So you can see that was a, a good easy one out of the eye formation for Kuda Matova. I'll show you that one again here. She just catches it out in front and goes across her body. The returner has no time to get to that. We'll do a few more here. So this return goes down the line and Candy Yang tries to hit it kind of, again, this is an, not inside out volley, but um, she tries to go down the line with it. And I, I think the move here, this is a pretty high volley, is again, just take it across your body. Um, she could try to take it through the middle, uh, but they've kind of pinched the middle here, so that's a tough one. So if she catches this super early, um, Zhang would not have time to, to react to this one. Just like that. So that's the same thing on the opposite side. You can see Kudermatova just, she doesn't even really think about it. She just immediately takes it across her body. And there's no time for the returner's partner to react. We'll look at a few more here. That's another inside out one that Ellen misses um, that time in the net. So she's trying to make the adjustment. You could see trying to not miss it long that time. So this is Demi Schur is one of the better net players on tour. And again, just very simple, straightforward, taking it across her body. That's another one. This is a forehand volley for Julie that she tries to take kind of short angle it looked like. Um, and again, since this is a pretty high volley, she's so close to the net, there's just no, almost no way to miss that if she takes it this direction. Um, but since she tries to kind of go inside out, she misses it in the net there. Here's Timmy Schurz again. You can see, again, the return's coming right across the middle. And it's really right at her, but she does a good job of defending this. And this is a really good, um, this is one of the drills I've talked about a lot on the podcast. Uh, let's look at another example here. This one will be better. <clears throat> so this is one of the drills I've talked about on the podcast. You can do this in the deuce or add court and have uh, your partner stand uh, right here where Zvonareva is standing with a basket of balls and you're at the net um, somewhere in here and they just feed one after the other after the other somewhere in this window um, and you're kind of moving and pinching and poaching and um, just reacting and putting these volleys away and your targets are going to be here and here and then for any defensive volley so if it's a really good return it's low say it's at your knees or something um, you can take those right back to the returner right here, depending on the volley. If it's a backhand volley, you might take it through the middle of the court. But regardless, if it's defensive, you're not going for this uh, sharp angle and you're not able to put the ball away. Um, if it's an offensive, a little bit higher over the net, just reach out and put it away. And they'll just feed ball after ball after ball. And you can feed 50, 75 in a row. Um, and those will definitely make your volleys better. couple more here. Nicole Melikar Martinez is really good at this. <clears throat> Partly because she's um, she's very tall, so she covers a lot of ground at the net here. Um, this is a good one that a lot of club level players mess up. You can see how close she is at the net. Um, but again, she just makes it very simple, takes it across her body, and there's no way for Siniakova to get to that. Uh, so hopefully this helps. Um, if you have any questions, definitely leave them below in the comments. But uh, work on this in practice, just hitting your volleys across your body for the most part, um, especially when they're a little bit in closer to you. Uh, if it's more of a stretch volley, then you can kind of go um, inside out or down the line a little bit more. If you want to become a smarter doubles player and start winning more matches, then join the Tennis Tribe Doubles Strategy Newsletter. Every single Thursday, I'll send you a new doubles tip or tactic that you can use in your very next match. And when you join, you're gonna get a free guide on how to play with more confidence and start dominating at the net in doubles. 
My name is Will. I'm the founder of the Tennis Tribe. And over the last five years, I've worked with players at every level of the game, from USTA 3-0 players all the way to Division I college programs, as well as some of the top 10 doubles players in the world. And on Thursdays, with this strategy newsletter, I share that knowledge and advice that I've gained over the years with you. So to sign up, you can go to thetennistribe.com. And again, you'll get that free net play guide when you join.